Hmm, Mr. Sheldon, we know you're lying. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack for it. And how do you prove that, Cole? With the note. We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old. He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes, that's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? God, will they just let me punch this doctor in the face one time? Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett, Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor, good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What, what? are you talking about? You heard the man, folks. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you wear. This is horseshit. Can't get anything Certainly done in this city. Full, Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's Sir, heart. What is going on here? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on here? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife, your children, consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? How fucking stupid. Ugh. She's leaving him. Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave. You're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. i to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. 
I can't stand it, Cole. <laughs> You're just going to leave your suitcase there or what? And guess whose place he's going to? Of course. I got fucking demoted to arson. Arson sucks dick. Alright. Let's continue on. Oh my god. I want to be on homicide, dude. Like, for real. <laughs> I liked solving the murders. Well, somewhat solving the murders. the arson squad today <laughs> how'd you like porking that german whore phelps <laughs> phelps is up before a review board in december until then he works the arson desk end of story phelps yes sir i don't care what you did or didn't do phelps i hear you're a good case man but if you fuck up on my detail i'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground do we have an understanding yes sir Cap we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, Detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! Seriously, Phelps is not only a war coward, he's also a traitor to the country at some point or another. You can, you basically play this game as a complete fuck up, like literally. <laughs> All right, let's go. What kind of shithole card we got now? Ugh. Look at this friggin' shoe box. Man. I guess we're going to Stefan's house fire first. How long have you been working, Arson? We gonna do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses, 
I don't think so. Feeling down, hotshot? Need a buddy? I'll look somewhere else. So this is how it's going to be, partner? I already told you, I don't do partners. I seen you on your first day, hero. Walking into the station, your chest puffed out like a little kid at his confirmation. He wouldn't have given me the time of day. And now you need somebody, and that somebody's supposed to be me. Well, it's not gonna happen. That's quite a speech. I heard you were the strong silent type. You cracking wise, Phelps? No, Biggs. I'm breaking the ice. Just drive, hot shot. I purposely did that so we could hear the commentary. Well, the dialogue. Commentary. I'm doing commentary. I'm not letting this goddamn cop steal my job. Stefan's house fire, 9.09 a.m. Yeah, that's pretty burnt down, you know. I've never seen a house that burnt down. There isn't much left. There never is if the job's done properly. You think it was deliberate? Nah, that's real pain in your face. They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah. Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none on his hand. No offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stepan's family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. You come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. You don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. It's lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Word is they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. We'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. He's a dirty cop from the newspaper. Hmm. Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. By who? Matthew Ryan? Wow, well that was quick. Yeah, I guess there's not going to be a lot of clues in arson because everything's on fire. Alright, let's talk to the people that own the place. If they'll even talk to me. Mr. Stevens? Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? John Stevens. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? Weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Hmm. Did you enter any kind of competition? My wife filled in a flyer. The lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. Interesting. The redevelopment Sounds like a front. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. Hmm. Everyone else is selling, but you're the holdout, aren't you? I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now my house is the center lot. So now you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. All right.
What's with him? You've seen the papers. I guess he's thinking about his own family. I'd say he's searching for some kind of atonement right now. Oh, we gotta call the phone. We gotta look up this development company. <laughs> Gulliver's Travels? Did you notice that? any other house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question? You heard of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? They've seen their billboards. Is it run by the government or by the city? run by that doctor. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Yes, detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. You have an address for them. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thanks. Hold on, what clothing am I wearing? <laughs> he changed his clothes because, uh,. I'm going to wear this because I want to carry the shame all around the city. What an asshole. I was kind of attached to the paint job, Cole. Any century in any century in a 211 in progress, 522 South Hill Street. <laughs> I'm not in the mood to do one of those. We're just gonna go right to the uh right to the marker this time. Just walk through that guy <laughs> like nothing. Look at hey, this Biggs. clipping. We, you have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about it. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the nether world of ours. Family of four found dead in their beds. Peter exploded. Yeah, another one. Looks that way. Insta Heat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month to go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. Is that there some Carruthers? Val. You gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death? I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater? Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete now before the department gets wind of it. I'm an arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. <laughs> 